All right, I've been thinking about this video a little bit, and hopefully I'm going to make sense here. We're going to be looking at the percent of like a discount or mainly percent discount. And what I want you to think about is two ideas. The idea of a discount versus the new price. So a discount, if I have a, if something is discounted by 30%, that means they're going to take 30% off. If they take 30% off, how much am I still going to have to pay? I'm still going to have to pay, not 60%, um, 70%. Right? What's a an 80% discount would mean a 20% that you still have to pay. It's the idea of the back side of this. What are you looking for? Are you trying to look for the discounted amount, how much you're going to take off of the price, or are you looking for the new price? So we have these two ideas. The discounted price, or the how much you're going to take off of the price, that's the discount, versus how much the new price would be. So, ah, my lights again. So we could think about this. The discount is the percent, right? So 85%, and the new price is 1 minus the discount, which in this case would be 1 minus 85, which is 15%. So one minus the discount gives us the new price. And remember, we're, we'll always be working with the decimal version of the percentage, not the actual percentage. So always decimal. So 85% would really be 0.85. And five, let's go, 7% would really be what? 0.07. Okay. So, let's do some math with this. Ninety percent off the original price. What is the sale price of a dimensional of a dimensions ruler originally priced at eighty cents? So, what is the sale price? So, I don't want to know how much it's being reduced by. I want to know the new price of this thing. Well, if it's ninety percent off, how much am I paying? That means I am paying 10%. And what is 10% of 80? Percent of is. I need 10% of 80 is what? 10% of 80 is what? Do the math on that. That's going to turn out to be 8 cents. Ten percent of 80 is 8 cents. What is the sale price of Rover's Friends, Rover's Friend Dog Bowl? What is the sale price of a Rover's Friend dog bowl originally priced at $6.20? I'm going to take 60% off the original price. If they take 60% off, how much am I still paying? I'm still paying 40%. It's not asking for how much they're taking off. It's asking for how much am I going to pay at the end. Well, I'm going to do 40%, 0.4 of 620 equals my new price. Let's do the math on this. 620 times 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 8, 24. Two decimal places. Two dollars. Three decimal places, excuse me. Two dollars and 48 cents. $2.48, which seems reasonable, right? It should be less than that number. Let's try another one. 
the original price of a couch is $830. Which coupon is a better deal? Should I go with 70% off of that or should I just take $600 off the price? Well, if I do 70% off, how much am I going to pay? 70% off means I'm going to pay 30%. Okay, let's do this. So 30% times 830 30% times 830, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 3 is 9, 24. One decimal place. Means if I use this coupon, it's going to cost me $249. All right, so this guy is 249. Well, what if I just take $600 off the price? Is that a better deal for me? Let's try that. 830 minus 600 gives me 230. This is 230. So which one should I use? Should I use this coupon and pay 249? Should I use this coupon and pay 230? Well, this is the better one right here, right? Go with this one. Yay, that's the bargain. 234, what am I buying, a couch? That seems like a really good price on a couch, 230 bucks, okay. And I think I have one more here. Same idea. What's the better deal, $300 off or 55% off? If they take 55% off, how much do I pay? I pay 45% of it still, right? Okay, let's do that. 45% of that original price. 538.73 times 45%. Okay, 5 times 3 is 15. 35, 36, 43, 15, 19, 25, 26. Four times three. Four times three is twelve. Four times seven is twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Why didn't it add a zero? It's not a zero there. Where my four times seven is twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 4 times 8 is 32, 33, 34. 4 times 3 is 12, 13, 14, 15. 4 times 5 is 20, 21. Wow, I hope this worked. 5, 8, 12, 14, 12, 4, 2. How many? 4 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 242. 42. That turned into a big problem, didn't it? Okay. So this guy right here is 242.42. And I'm going to just check out the calculator because I don't want to look like a total goofball on this video. 0.45 times. Two forty two four two eight five. Okay, we're good. And the other one would be three hundred dollars off. So what's that? Five thirty eight point seventy three minus three hundred dollars. Three seven eight three two thirty eight seventy three. So what should I go with? Should I do the three hundred dollars off, or should I go with the fifty five percent off? $300 off, that's the better deal for me. There it is. Okay, that video went a little long, mainly because of the the multiplying decimals and stuff like that. that. That takes some time. So just slow down when you're doing these. Give them a good shot.